Hi everyone, my name is Miriam Adeyemi and welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use some if and some if is. So, you work with a company and your boss comes to you and says, Hey Miriam, can you give me the total sales of Texas in the month of April? And I want this within five minutes. I also need you to give me the sales of James in Texas in the month of April. And I need it now, now, now. So how are you going to do this without shaking, without stress? I'm going to show you right now. So you come to this column. You already set your criteria. So you come to this column. You put the uh, equal sign and then you pull out these, uh, the formula. And then the, well, uh, we're going to look at the first criteria, which is sell, uh, the state. Put comma and then you pick um, Texas, which is a criteria. And then you put comma and then you put your criteria range, the sum range. And then you close the parentheses and there we go we have the total sales of texas in the month of april so now you want to do uh you want to pull out the sales of james in texas for the same month remember this is already two criteria and it's not one as the sum if this already has a, an s so we're gonna pull out the sum if equal sign sum if s right and then if you look at the formula this is this has changed a little bit you know the the sum range comes first right now because we have more than one criteria and because we don't know how many criteria we're going to put so that's why the sum range comes first and the, and so we're going to pick the sum range first in this um formula so we go to the sales amount that's the sum range and then we pick the criteria one which is, which is james we go to salesman which is the criteria range put a comma and then we pick James and then we put another comma and then the second criteria is state we come to state we pick all the states where we're gonna pull Texas from put a comma and then you pick your Texas and then you close the parentheses and here we go so we have the total sales of James in Texas so this is how we're gonna pull out this information within the given uh, timeline this is how to do it. It's pretty easy. It's pretty simple. I'll see you next time. Bye.